Okay, now I can go through, if there's any spots that I don't really like how it lines up, I can take my art journal away, so I'm flat on the table, and I've got a flat tool. It's an unsharpened pencil. And what I can do is just kind of flatten those lines. You're still going to be able to see them until we color, but I can flatten it and then put my art journal back underneath. And I want this to be a circle, so I'm just going to draw it. with my art journal underneath so it has a soft place to go. Okay, now I'm gonna start tooling. I've got a flat tool and I have a round tool. This is what I'm going to use for shapes that I want to pop out. This is what I'm going to use for areas that are flat. My negative space, positive space. Okay, I've got my plans here so I know what goes where. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start with this little circle right here. Now, I want the gold side on the front, so I'm going to push from the back with my round tool. And it's just like I'm coloring it in. Okay, flip it over, see how it looks. Now, I only stretch a little bit at a time. If I stretch too much, I can rip the metal. If my art journal isn't squishy enough, I can grab some newspaper and put it underneath too. Okay, once I've done a few of my positive spaces that pop out, I need to take my flat tool and go around the shapes that I have just to make those lines cleaner. And that's how you do positive and negative space. If you want your lines to be deeper, you can just take your pencil and retrace your lines. But be careful, you can poke through this metal.